Whew. Bugs, dang. Oh, the humidity. Oh, the humidity of it all. Bike vlogger here. On my way home from work tonight. Let's actually go backward here a little bit. Um, I think there's a park over here, so let's head toward that. But tip of the day, tip of the night, tip of the day and night, my, my light's on, but it's not very bright. Let's go to the right. Because I don't think my, unfortunately my big light, I don't know if you can see it on the screen here. It's like 4%. My light is almost dead. Let's see, can I go left? I think I can cut through this business here. Let's give it a shot. Bumpy, bump, bumpy. Okay, real slow. Just in case there's an invisible chain. Okay. Don't, <laughs> don't want to go over the bars. Tip of, tip of the night, though. Um, Woo! Yeah, charge your bicycle lights. Um, but actually, the, the tip tonight is uh, what do you wear when it's getting dark like this. This is actually later in the day. Um, this isn't uh, early morning, but it applies both ways, basically. If you're out riding, and I've talked about before riding your bike when the sun is low, but what if the sun is below the horizon? You know, twilight, or whatever you want to call it. Blue hour, golden hour. Maybe not so much golden hour, but I'm talking about when it's dimmer outside or even when it's really cloudy. But particularly when the sun is, you know, it's been 30 minutes since the sun went below the horizon and it's getting very dark, but it's not completely dark. And that is my dilemma. Do I wear sunglasses or not? You know, so, or do I wear something in between like some uh, bump? some yellow uh glasses or maybe like something uh orange or something like a hunter would wear uh yeah like what do you do what do you do well first off you try to get your bike like working here oh there we go yeah it's doing all sort of funky stuff oh let's go this way actually when i get off off the road here. Yeah, see my light's actually pretty good right now. But I want to turn it off. I'm trying to save the battery. Ah, oh, okay. Very good, very good. Yeah, actually I wanted to turn around. Yeah, I'm a little, uh, obviously you can tell I'm a little disorganized. That's okay. Ooh, careful with that toe overlap. <laughs> I made a tight turn there and uh, tap my, uh, my foot. Okay, so here, okay, here we go. Here's the, here's the park I was talking about. Okay, so what do you do? Do you wear, let's turn this off. Let's turn off my other light. Always bring spare bike lights just in case. So, we're in a nice pretty park here. What do you do? Do you, um, do you not wear your sunglasses at all? I always recommend eye protection when you're out riding on the road. There goes a motorcycle. He probably has a full face helmet or something on, hopefully. But he usually has a visor you can put down. Um, so what do you do uh, when it's pretty dark like this? Here's my sunglasses. They're nice uh, plastic sunglasses. Um, well, let me take off my helmet. Check this out. I got eyes in the back of my head. So you can carry your, your glasses with you on your helmet, front or back, I guess. And then you could swap them. So that's kind of my tip of the night. I don't know, what do you think? In the past, I've, uh, I've carried my spare glasses um, on my hip. But, uh, you know, if you fall over, you know, it's something sharp that you could pierce your skin, you know. Uh, so you're gonna go this way. 
Now let's just make a little loop. Um, oh, let's turn on our lights again, right? There's a light. Turn on my rear light. Um, I mean, you could carry your, uh, your eyewear in a bag of some sort, I guess. Actually, this road is one way, isn't it? That's okay. Let's go to the right here. Okie doke. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Did you see that? I don't know if you saw that on the video. There was a guy standing over there on the sidewalk, and I think he had a cat on a leash. Oh my gosh, those, uh, I'm so, I apologize for the noise. There's some, uh, I think they're called cicadas. They're making that loud noise. If I get out of this little wooded area though, it should be nice and quiet. Just got all the car traffic. Woo! End of another day. Haven't done a, done a bike ride home from work in a while. Let's go this way. Nice and quiet, not a lot of people around. It's, uh, what, does that guy have headlights on? I almost want to wait here to see. Yeah, that SUV, he doesn't have headlights on. <laughs> that guy back there. All right, so yeah, let's turn on my bigger light. There we go. Actually, yeah, I guess I can turn off this other front light for now. So yeah, this is my nice big bright uh, light. It may not even show up so much on the uh, camera. It's actually my old exposure strata light. Had it for a long time. Kind of funny. It's got like less than four minutes left on it, supposedly. Um, <laughs> I forgot to charge it, like I said earlier. Let's go. Let's go this way. I was gonna go the other way, but this is downhill. End of the day. Yeah, it depends on how I'm feeling at the end of the day, if I go for a longer ride home or not. The added benefit of riding a bike is you can get some good exercise in, and especially when you're riding home from work, you don't really care so much about, you don't have to care so much about um, sweating because your destination will have a shower or a bath, hopefully. <laughs> if you have a bath or a shower at your house or your apartment or your condo or whatever. Now, I don't actually see, let's go back, let's go back, 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 bike blogger. I don't actually see, uh, bugs, dang. Oh, the humidity. Oh, the humidity of it all. It's very hot out here. Um, yeah, I don't know if this light changes or if it's on a timer. And my quandary, is that the right term? Is that, like, across from me here oh thank you i was gonna say you know missouri state law says you can jump a red if uh you know it doesn't seem it seems to be dysfunctional you know it's not working for you whether you're a bike or a car except i was you know right across the street from the police department so uh, i don't really want to jump a red right there so i can avoid it probably be on tape probably be on camera actually probably all these intersections have cameras so not a bad idea to hopefully get home here soon. Not just because I have my uh, sunglasses on, uh, uh, but I can just change, like I said, to my uh, clear glasses. Oh, I did a video a long time ago about them. They're uh, Pirate Techs or something like that. Uh, Z-Tech is the, is the model number. If you're not like mountain biking, you, like I was showing you, you can, you can probably pretty safely put them in the vents of your helmet and carry them that way. I think that actually is a great idea. I mean, it's worked for me for years. Um, but if you're mountain biking, you know, eh, you're more, you're probably more likely to drop your glasses that way. So and you don't want to be doing that. But yeah, I mean, the glasses I got, they're just. Uh, plastic frame, uh, plastic lens. I wouldn't really recommend uh, putting <laughs> real glass glasses uh, or eyeglasses on your helmet like I was showing earlier, but oh boy, I don't know if we're gonna make it home here before this light goes out. The problem is I don't actually know how much time I got because uh, it's doing a funky thing on there. I've never seen that happen before. 
think the battery is so low it's fortunately the light doesn't seem to be flickering although I guess it could be at a very high frequency and my human eyes would be able to detect it Whew. all right keep going straight back up Whew. I also don't really know how the video is gonna look I don't know if I've done an 8 or 8k I'm already ahead of myself I don't know if I've done a 4k video at night riding on a bike with my GoPro Hero 8 yet I don't expect the video quality to be that good even though it's higher resolution because uh, I'm probably not getting a lot of image stabilization in this low light so oh well the main thing is uh crank out these bike vlogger videos although i wouldn't mind being able to capture the license plates on my camera just in case okay this guy's waiting for me there couldn't really see kind of the problem with um trying to communicate with other drivers it depends on where you live but in my part of the country the united states you're allowed to tent the front uh passenger and driver's side windows of your car uh, you're not allowed to tent it very dark but you are allowed to tent it and it can be kind of hard to see through especially some people have probably illegally tent their windows uh to see if they're like saying waving you on like hey you know you can go ahead and go so like, i can't see you you're hidden behind a bunch of black glass <laughs> so anyway i appreciate if people are trying to be courteous to me there was a guy earlier today who was stopped and waving me on i mean i get that a lot probably because i often uh slow down and stop uh at intersections especially uh major intersections Up, up the bike lane. Whew. Hey, this is pretty good. <laughs> My light's still going. So yeah, double tip of the night. Well, number one, I recommend you yeah, always charging your. <laughs> Don't forget to. Oh my gosh, they never fix that. Always charge your uh, bicycle lights. It happens to the best of us. Man, they never fix this. What the heck? It's like a yeah, screw you stop sign. I'm not, I'm not stopping it. Why don't you fix the... Oh my gosh. That's it. I'm, I'm done. I'm taking the lane. Screw you cars. <laughs> no more riding in the bike lane. It's all torn up. I guess I should complain to the city about that. Whew. That's the problem when you segregate different modes of transportation. They get varying levels, varying degrees of maintenance. Bike lanes are are fine and all, but you know, if they get you know cars park in the bike lanes, uh, snow gets plowed into the bike lanes. You know, there's a lot of problems with segregating various modes of transportation so that's just a little gripe about bike lanes the thing i like most about uh well i'm getting off topic the thing i like most about um bicycle infrastructure is that it just you know at least makes it seem like people are aware that people exist out there who don't drive a car you know there are people who walk there are people who ride bikes even though it's a minority of people in most cities probably almost probably almost every city in the united states except for new york city maybe boston i don't know i've traveled around the country a lot but 
Yeah, from my experience, most cities in the United States are not uh, very walkable. That's, you know, that's fine. This, uh, this, country, this country was westernized, you know, just a few hundred years ago. Uh, whew. So we're more up to date with the car nation. But yeah, back to the topic of the night. Um, so yeah, sunglasses or no sunglasses. I'm actually still wearing my sunglasses right now. See, there's my sunglasses. And I can see pretty good, although I would say I'd probably be doing better if I had the clear. And I recommend always some eyewear because you get bugs and debris and stuff in there. Let's actually go right. I think it's two way. Yeah, there we go. Woo. You get bugs and other debris in there and it's just nasty. Nasty. And your eye, your eye hole, <laughs> your eye socket. Oh boy. All right. Almost, almost home. Woo. Um, so yeah, and I recommend two, two, eye, two pieces of eyewear. I've tried, you know, what do they call it? Transition lenses. I've tried to go in between like with, uh, with, um, I wonder if we're gonna get the green. That guy's been waiting though for his left turn. Yeah, we did get the green. How about that? That's cool. We just got here. Man, look, there's another guy. I don't know if you could see it in the video frame. There was a guy to the right of that when I was traveling to the intersection. There's a guy on the right in the SUV. He had no lights on. Now maybe, I don't know. Oh, okay. Let's go up this way. Now maybe, uh, maybe it's not that dark. I don't know. See, I'm wearing sunglasses, so it appears darker. Uh, but when I look underneath my sunglasses, it's pretty bright, although I'm under a bright light right now. Up the hill. Up the hill. Oh, my knee. My knee still hasn't fully healed yet. So I fell on the stairs. Let's go this way. Whew. Um, so yeah, I recommend two pairs of glasses, clear and then tinted. You know, you could go in between, but the, you know, it's a, it's a compromise. You know, if it's a very sunny day, you know, you're going to feel like you want a little more tint. And then if it's a really cloudy day or it's dark, you know, you're going to want to, you want to have more clarity, be able to see. So, uh, whew. Big truck, big truck. Well, anyway, that's all I got for you tonight. Uh, thanks for coming along with me on this bike ride home from uh, work today. Well, let me know what you think. Leave a comment, a like, share the video, subscribe. Did I miss anything? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. We'll see you next time on the bike vlogger show and i hope the camera didn't die because it's been dying a lot on me but i think i might have fixed it i got a new memory card hopefully we're cool hopefully we're cool thumbs up see you next time Whew. oh my light's still on awesome oh well, now it now it says i have like what the heck now it says i have zero minutes and zero hours oh boy i shouldn't have stopped on on a hill Oh no, the light's about to go out. The light's about to go out. Woo. Oh my. Oh, the humidity. Oh, the humidity of it all. <laughs>